Okay, so technically it's not beige, but that's what colour I can most compare it to. Seeing as I wasn't born in the 1970s, where this colour seems to have been conceived and has stayed ever since. Along with the bus that I've started to notice pass by my house most days. And now I say most days, as contrary to normal timetable buses that mundanely but conveniently are normalised, I have absolutely no idea to what schedule this one runs. I've tried to catch a look at the front of it as it's gone past, but with the limited choice of either the hefty recess of my upstairs window or between the hedges at the top of my downward sloping garden, it's near impossible to glance the black and white writing for anything more than a fraction of a second. But surely it must go somewhere. It must go somewhere just for the pure fact that it's not stationary. And I imagine that although I want it to read something like Once Upon a Time or Far, Far Away, the reality will be as uninteresting as Otley, Ilkley, or one of the other outskirting small farm villages that don't really sound real, but I promise you do exist. Now, because of the restricted speed capable in such a narrow street with all zigzagging cars, I used to have a small window in which to view the passengers, who I, who I noticed are all over the age of 60, which again is exaggerating my belief that it's not from our current world or current time. I've been pondering that maybe it goes to places that only people from the 70s want to go to. It could be that they're going to places like the roller rink, or maybe even Vietnam. I first saw it about five weeks ago, and I remember it distinctly because it blew out more smoke than an asthmatic chimney sweep. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. But since then, because I think that now I know of its existence, the bus is trying to hide from me. Because see, since that first week, I've only heard it when I can't see it. Like, I heard it once when I was on the toilet. I've heard it when I've been in the bath. I even heard it midway through a running jump as I was trying to get my toasty maker from the top of the cupboard. There's that, um, there's that trope in mainly horror films, in the, where if you say a name three times, it's someone, usually some unsavoury character will appear. Hi, how are you? <laughs> well, I've been getting so desperate lately that for about an hour a day over the last week, I've been standing at my window chanting, Big Beige Bus, Big Beige Bus, Big Beige Bus, to no avail, obviously. I might put it down to the fact that I'm saying beige instead of its true colour, and therefore correct description overrules my catchy alliteration in this instance. Big Beige Bus. Or maybe the schedule has nothing to do with um, popular culture horror movie references. I just want to know how to get on it and to understand what it feels like to touch the white railing that sits on the shoulder of the driver like a porcelain parrot. I want to sit on those shit brown seats. I want to buy a day rider, a year rider, whatever the fuck this bus does. I just don't want to be trapped outside looking in. Cheers.